It's been nearly four months since the Jayhawks last took the field. With the departure of 20 seniors from last year's squad, the spring welcomes an entirely different team to the stage. Determined to restore the program, the next four weeks will lay the foundation for the 2011 season. Spring football is one of the most important stages of building a winning program. It's a time for coaches to implement new schemes, evaluate their personnel, and prepare their team physically for the fall. It's also a time for change. With the winter training focused toward developing mental and physical toughness, a similar system has carried over to the spring. During practice, each player will be given an individual performance grade based upon a scale of four fundamental categories. Passion, assignment, technique, and the ability to finish. A high grade reflects the effort required to be a successful player, and more importantly, a successful team. guys who had good grades as far as their last practice, uh, the guys that had at least 12 or higher, we had two guys who had 15, uh, Hawkinson and Zlatnik had that, and then we had Ron Doherty, Hatch, Marangeli, Howard, Spikes, Martinovich, Lewandowski, and Augustino, uh, all those guys at least had 12 or higher. Uh, just the last little thing here today, I want to see everybody have a great effort today. Uh, we should not turn on the tape as we look at it tomorrow when you come in the morning and watch it at 6.15 or 6 o'clock in the morning where there's not a play where a guy does not give an effort. That's something that you can control no matter what's going on, no matter whether you made a mistake here or made a mistake there. You can always play hard no matter what's going on there. So when we turn on tomorrow, I don't want to see not one guy where you got in there one play or whether you played 25 plays. It really doesn't matter. Whenever we turn on that tape, every single play that you're in there for a snap, you're giving 100%, expecting great effort all the time. Okay? Anybody else got anything? All right, let's bring it up and have a great practice. Let's go, fellas. Let's go. Let's go. Now listen to me. This, this practice today is a big day. Not just, not just for me as a coach, but for you guys as players. Now, we need to have a big day today. The other day our defense got after us a little bit. All right? You got to bring it today. You got to bring it today. You got to bring it both mentally and physically. When we, start, uh, when we start this scrimmage, all right? First part of it is third down. It's third and short, all right? That's got to be a money down for our offense. It's got to be. Guys, come on now. Live means live. You've got an opportunity here to get some people on the ground. We need to get people on the ground. You understand that? Hey, don't try to cut people behind you, but take your chances, take your opportunities. We got an opportunity on a screen or something like that. Take your shots now, guys. Take your shots. Big day, Gavin Howard. Big day for you. Big day, Jeff. <laughs> got to have big days today. Everybody got me on that? You two cats right here, y'all been working good together now. I like what I'm seeing over here on that side. I expect it to even be better today. You, you need to have a, a big day today, okay? 
Need to make sure now you're starting to move well. Things are looking good for you. Let, let, let's continue to build on this. Any questions about anything that we're getting done today? Okay. Over the course of a month, there are three scrimmages leading up to the spring game. Though the preseason depth chart is skewed, a strong performance on the field provides a definitive advantage heading into training camp in the fall. First impressions are key. Great job on Saturday of getting after people's tails. Now, the one thing about the video that we always learn is it's never as good as you think it is and never what? Never as bad as you think it is, right? Okay? And that's true. There's a lot of stuff that we can learn from this, all right? A few things I wanted to put on the boards up here. Let's just talk about knockdowns real quick. All right? Knockdowns. Uh, guys that really stood out to me. Kel Pick had four knockdowns, three scoring blocks, and one pancake, and one he drives a guy away into the fence. Heck of a job, Kel. Great job. All right, uh, one nice scoring block for you, Eric, but there's a ton of them that you're going to see that I'm not very happy with you on. All right, uh, Connor Embry, just keep showing up, man. Two cuts, two great plays, and one over 20-yard reception. That's a heck of a play, man. Just keep showing up, dude. Just keep doing that. You know, I always say, make, make us play. Make us play. Because we just keep doing it. You're just doing it. You just keep doing it. Make us play, okay? He just keeps showing up <laughs> in positive ways. Christian Matthews, three big plays. A couple of nice runs, man. All right, two big runs and one big catch. That was a great catch last week. Great run, great catch. So we got to take care of that. All right, great job. We had two tubs out of four. That was our goal. 11 knockdowns. We got to eight. Uh, max effort. We did not get that. We still had six loaves. And until we eliminate that, guys, we're not going to be as good as we can be in this room. Okay? And I'm going to demand it. There's a high expectation level. And you cannot allow people in this room to be any less than that. We got to play hard every play. You got to call each other out on it. Okay? It's got to come from within. Let's talk about players of the day. I'm, I made up some awards the other day. Some guys that I think did good, some guys I think need to improve. MVP award, hands down, Kel Pick. You know why? Because he played harder than everybody out there. Didn't score any touchdowns, but that sucker played his tail off. He had scored three scoring blocks, played extremely hard. Watch him. He can make you a better player. Keep it up, Kel. Make us play. Make us play. The road to becoming a championship football team begins with developing strong leadership. In a program rich with underclassmen, the opportunity is there for the taking. But like any character trait, maturity is not an event, it's a process. Ready, go! While the point system provides accountability, trust is developed through performance. Every day, each player is put in a scenario where they must perform in front of their teammates in a one-on-one -on -one setting. Adding the pressure of individual competition is one of the best ways to evaluate the player's progress. The leaders will rise to the top. Pretty good work. Uh, again, we got bumps and bruises and 
and some guys got to come in and probably some guys are getting more reps than others. You still got to push yourself to get better. Don't be uh, thinking about, well, so-and-so's not in there and I'm getting more reps, I'm getting tired. You think about yourself getting better because, if again, we talked about earlier, if you get better, then our team gets better, period. And that's going to happen in a game. It's going to happen in our season where somebody's going to get hurt. They're going to be missing a the game. They're going to miss a play. They're going to miss a series. And the next guy, we're going to trust that that guy can get in there and make the play. And you got to do that and believe that as a teammate. You got to believe that as a coaching staff. We got to believe that as a football program. So it don't matter who's in there, we trust and believe that that guy's going to make the play. And he's going to win the football game for us. Or he's going to make that play for us. We collectively going to make that play as a team, as a unit. You got to say, I'm coming out here and I'm going to get better. That's how you win championship. You don't feel sorry for yourself. You don't say, woe is me, or it's because of this or because of that. You just say, I'm going to get it done and we're going to get it done. That's the attitude, that's the approach that you got to have every single day. There's some good things happening here. I'm not trying to say there's a, a negative day today, but I'm just trying to make sure you push yourself. And when you come in that uh, building, that your mind's right. We talk about passion. When you come in there, you say, I'm in here to get better today. You're not coming in that building to think about something else. We got plenty of time for you to go do those other things, the academics and everything else that need to take place. When we come in here, we only got so much of a lot of time to get better as a football team and get better as a coaching staff, get better as a football program to one day, and we will, where it says Big 12 champions, University of Kansas, period. That's what we're going for. Ain't, ain't nothing else any less than that. We got some work to do, but I want to get the mentality that you truly believe that you can get it done. And you got to come here ready to go every single day. We're going to push you as coaches, and then sometimes you as teammates got to push each other. We all got to do it collectively. Don't just count on the coaches. Don't just count on your teammates. But everybody collectively got to push each other to get better. Kale Pitt, come on up and talk to him, man. What's up, Kale? B, believe in each other and things not yet seen. B, believe in each other and things not yet seen. E, empower people by encouragement. E, empower people by encouragement. L, learn and press on towards the goal. L, learn and press on towards the goal. I, influence by being a positive role model. I, influence by being a positive role model. E, expect great effort all the time. E, expect great effort all the time. V, visualize excellence. V, visualize excellence. E, enjoy the college football experience. Yeah! I tricked it. What's up, Cam? Let's go three. One, two, three. With the annual spring game just a week away, practice is momentarily put on hold as Memorial Stadium plays host to another traditional event, the Kansas Relays. After 84 years of history, the four-day event continues to showcase the top high school, college, and pro athletes in the world. Game day comes quickly as thousands gather around the stadium for pregame festivities and autographs from current and former NFL players. While the fans celebrate the return of their favorite Kansas greats, inside the locker room, the team prepares for their highly anticipated debut. Bring it in real quick. I ain't gonna uh, spend too much of your time. I just want to go over a couple things real quick. Okay, uh, just a reminder here after there will be some autographs after the uh, scrimmage here. They'll put you to the right places where you need to go. Again, our scrimmage is really gonna be the same that we've done really pretty much in all practice. Coaches will keep you on the alert of what's going on as far as who's in, who's out, and all those things. Again, we're not gonna do anything from a cheap shot uh, as far as trying to help you play hard, play within the rules. And uh, again, we know to eat. Enjoy the college football experience right there. Anybody else got any questions about anything? 
Bring it on up right here. Let's go here. Let's go right here. Let's go, right here. Let's go KU on three, guys. One, two, three. KU! As the team takes the field, hundreds of KU alumni from all around the country gather in support of this year's squad. For many, it's their first opportunity to see how the program is progressing. With the game being broadcast nationwide, today's scrimmage is the team's closest simulation to a regular season game. A good showing provides momentum heading into the fall. With one of the most impressive springs in recent years coming to a close, the Jayhawks begin another off-season training program. The next three months are a critical stage in the team's preparation.